In this video, I want to explain the difference between pneumatics and hydraulics. So first, let's start with pneumatics. So here I have two syringes filled with air and I have a airline tubing uh, connecting the two, which is also filled with air. This is a closed system and it's all filled with air. So watch some things I can do. So if I push on this side of the tube, let's see what happens to the other side. You can see it kind of slowly starts moving. If I push on this side of the tube, let's see what happens to this side. Oh, it's already starting to move. I'm not even doing anything and it's moving. See this side is moving a little bit. So I'm going to push it. It's moving. So is this side. This side's moving too. I'm going to push harder on there and it goes up. But this side's bouncing up too. So we get kind of weird things happening. What if I press both at the same time? Let's try this. Yeah, they both go down. I can feel it takes a lot of pressure for me to do that. And then I let go, and they both start moving up. So that's pneumatics. And pneumatics is using gases, and gases are compressible, which is why I can squeeze both at the same time, right? Gases are compressible. Now let's look at hydraulics. So this is a different setup. This is filled with water. This syringe is filled with water. So is this tube and so is this syringe. Only problem is I have a little air bubble right here and that's not ideal to have that, but it will still work even if that is there. So this is hydraulics. So watch, I'm gonna push on this side of the tube and let's see what happens to the other side. Oh yeah, immediately it rises up, okay? Now let's try the other side. Push this side. Oh, immediate, there's an immediate reaction on both sides. Totally. So this is hydraulics. Hydraulics uses liquids, and when you push on a liquid, um, it sends force or pressure to the other syringe. Liquids do not compress. I mean, it would take thousands of pounds of pressure to compress a liquid even just a little bit. So unlike gases, liquids don't compress, which makes them ideal for transmitting pressure to another location. For example, in your brakes in a car, they use hydraulics, right? On like, like a uh, excavator. They use hydraulics. So hydraulics is all about using liquids to transmit pressure or force to another location. There's something interesting that happens with hydraulics. If you've noticed, I have two different size syringes. So when I push the big syringe, let's see what it does to the little syringe. So I do a little push on the big syringe and it does a bigger push on the little syringe. Now let's try the opposite. I do a little push on the small syringe, or actually a big push on the little syringe, and it does a smaller push on the big syringe. What happens here is because these are different sizes, you can put um, different forces on them. And I'll give you a perfect example of this. So a jack used to lift up a car would have the big syringe, let's say these books represented a car, the big syringe would go under a car and then the little syringe would be the jack that you move to try and lift the car. So I'm going to push this and I'm going to hold it and let's see if it raises the books. Ah, uh, see, it actually works. So I can use a small force in my hand and put a bigger force but with less movement on the car or the books. So see there? Pretty cool.